Okay, welcome. What I want to do is show you how to simplify the expression. And this expression is 9p minus 9 minus 2 minus 2p. So it's important when we want to simplify expressions, we got to add and subtract like terms. And what do I mean by like terms? What I mean by like terms mean that they have like factors. So let's look at two different types of terms that we have. We have numbers, which would be negative 9 and negative 2. And then we have numbers which would be multiplied by variables, which would be 9p and p. So let's look at the difference between the factors of 9 and 9p. And then hopefully that will give us an understanding of why we can't uh, combine these two terms. When looking at the factors of 9 and 9p, if I was going to break this down, you could break this down into 3 times 3. However, to break down 9p, you'd have to break that down into 3 times 3 times p. So therefore, you can see that their factors are not the same. Therefore, we can't add and subtract them. You can't say, uh, you know, 9p minus 2 would be 7p. That, since they're not like terms, we can't combine them. So what we can only do is only combine terms that are similar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange this problem so I have my like terms right next to each other. Because remember, we can work with the associative property to do that. So I can write 9p minus 2p minus 9 minus 2. Notice how I took, or actually not associative property, but commutative property. But notice how I took the, the signs of each one of those angles, and I just rearranged the negative 2p in front, but it's still negative. Now I have 9p minus 2p is 7p. And negative 9 minus 7 is or sorry, negative 9 minus 2 is now negative 11. So there I go. My simplified expression is going to be 7p minus 11. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks a lot.